Hello friends, this video on matter and magnetism part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 17 before going ahead with part 18. Go ahead and look at what is magnetic intensity. So when I talk of magnetic intensity, let me take uh, remind you of what we studied some time back we have we had talked about solenoid in our previous lesson right we said that the magnetic field inside a solenoid what was magnetic field inside a solenoid when when we have this normal solenoid what is the magnetic field inside the solenoid the magnetic field is mu naught into n i where n is the number of turns per unit length I is the current flowing through the solenoid and mu naught is the permeability in free space, right? Now, when some material is inserted inside the solenoid, like how I, I mentioned you about electromagnets, right? I mentioned you that sometimes in order to increase the efficiency, some soft iron core is inserted in the free open space inside the solenoid, right? Now, let us suppose that there is the material which is inserted inside the solenoid. This material has non-zero intensity of magnetization. That means its magnetization is not zero. What do I mean if I say that magnetization is not zero? That means this material has a net magnetic moment per unit volume. That means the individual, sometimes it might also happen for certain materials, the magnetization can be zero because maybe the magnetic moments of all the electrons add up and become zero. But in this case, it says that this material has a non-zero magnetization. Okay, so what will happen if I insert a material which has a non-zero magnetization, what will happen to the magnetic field? Will the magnetic field increase or the magnetic field will decrease? Now since in addition to the solenoid, I mean what is basically magnetic field? Magnetic field is basically produced by a substance from some source it is produced, right? So if you introduce on top of the solenoid if you introduce another object which has some magnetization which has a net magnetic moment so this will also induce some magnetic field therefore the net magnetic field will increase now let me denote this previous magnetic field as b naught so this was the magnetic field of the solenoid when the when the material was not inserted right now after the material is inserted the magnetic field will become initial magnetic field plus a new magnetic field which is introduced due to m due to the magnetization of this material right now it was found that the magnet the, the magnetic field which was introduced due to the introduction of this material it was found that so certain there are certain things which were found experimentally so it was found that this magnetic field which was newly introduced was proportional to this magnetization so greater the magnetization of this material greater was the magnetic field introduced because of that so this was the relation which was observed so what will this expression become so we can write this expression as b is equal to b naught plus mu naught m now, dividing both sides by mu naught, we can write it as B naught by mu naught plus M. Correct? Right? Now, what happened? A new quantity was introduced. A new quantity was introduced. Now, you must be wondering what was the need to introduce a new quantity in order to keep things simple because magnetism is a huge phenomenon there are so many things involved within it right so they defined every individual concept was defined as a different quantity like when i talk about magnetic field i only talk about magnetic field when i talk about magnetization i talk about the net magnetic moment per unit volume when i talk about magnetic moment it is just the product of current and area so every small bit was defined as a separate quantity to keep things simple so now a new quantity was introduced and that quantity was known as magnetic intensity and it was denoted by a capital h 
So this magnetic intensity was defined as B naught by mu naught. So this quantity was defined as magnetic intensity. So what was your expression? So the expression became B by mu naught is equal to H plus M. Right? So from this we could get B is equal to mu naught into H plus M. So what did this display? This reflected that the magnetic field, that the net magnetic field that was produced, it arose, it arose from two things. One was due to the external factors like current. One was because of the current which was flowing through the solenoid. And the other was due to the specific nature of the magnetic material, right? So the specific nature of magnetic material was governed by this M. Because this M, that is magnetization, it is something which is very much specific to particular material. Because it is the net magnetic moment per unit volume of a particular material, right? So this M is material specific. Whereas this part was due to external factors. So that means your, the net magnetic field produced was due to two things. One was external factors like current flowing through the wire. And the other one was due to magnetic, due to specific property of magnetic materials, right? So this is how is magnetic intensity defined. So what is magnetic intensity? Magnetic in intensity is basically a quantity which tells us what is the, I mean, how does magnetic field varies with the permeability. It is basically a comparison of the magnetic field which was produced in comparison to the permeability and it also governs the external factor responsible for the production of the net magnetic field. As I told you here, right, the net magnetic field produced is because of two factors. One is the external factor and the other one is the internal factor. Internal factor is dependent on the nature of the material and external factor is dependent on factors like current flowing through the wire. Right? So the external part was governed by this quantity called magnetic intensity. So if you increase the magnetic intensity in a way, you are not specifically saying that I am increasing the current or I am increasing some other factor. You are just saying that you are basically increasing some external factor which will increase your magnetic field. So increasing your magnetic intensity will have an effect on the net magnetic field that will be produced. So, magnetic intensity is denoted by capital H and please remember this terms which, um, with which we denote these quantities because later when we talk about other uh, concepts, we will just be using H, M, B like that. So, you might get confused at that time. So, what is the unit for magnetic intensity? If you look at it, magnetic intensity is B by mu naught. So if you derive from here, you will get that the unit for magnetic intensity comes out to be ampere turns per meter. It is also known as magnetizing force. So please remember this terms. I'm telling you again and again because people get confused. So magnetization was one thing. Magnetization and intensity of magnetization are the same. Magnetic intensity and magnetizing force, they are the same. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.